I mean, it's absolutely ludicrous to think that we're supposed to be sucking on the teats of a cow. I mean, we're not cows, we're humans. And, you know, the, the institution or the, the practice of dairying, that is using uh, cattle uh, for their, their uh, mammary secretions, is only about 3,000 years old. And the human race is clearly much older than that. So we absolutely do not need dairy foods for anything. Furthermore, studies have shown that dairy protein actually correlates with higher risk for a number of diseases, including cancers such as prostate cancer, uh, some, uh, uh, as the China study pointed out, some cancers in children. Um, but uh, the uh, lactose in the dairy foods is also suspected of raising the risk in women of ovarian cancer and some other problems. And then, of course, the saturated fat is absolutely unhealthy. Um, the uh, uh, protein in, in uh, cow's milk, if very young children are exposed to dairy protein before they're a year old, it markedly increases their risk for developing type 1 diabetes. So it should be avoided altogether. Why did the U.S. government recommend it then? Because uh, the dairy lobbyists pay a lot of money for it. I mean, we all call 125 dihydroxycalciferol vitamin D. It's not a vitamin. It's a hormone. Our bodies will make it if we expose ourselves to sunlight. But because the dairy industry started putting it in milk and calling it a vitamin, they have got everybody referring to this hormone as a vitamin. It's not a vitamin. and shouldn't be called a vitamin. In the film, What the Health, which you were recently in, you said that by uh, the US government recommending dairy products, that is a form of institutionalized racism. Oh, there's no question that it is. And the reason is that the government is well aware that the majority of people of color are profoundly lactose intolerant. 95% of Asians are lactose intolerant. 73 to 75 percent of blacks are lactose intolerant. In the Americas, up to 53 percent of Hispanics are lactose intolerant. And about 70 to 73 percent of Native Americans are lactose intolerant. Meaning that when they eat dairy foods, they are going to get sick because they cannot digest the milk that's in the dairy foods. But the government still recommends that people eat those foods, not because there's any health benefit, but because the dairy industry wants to sell product. Now, what is the main reason that people recommend or, or tout that we should eat dairy foods? They say calcium, right? Well, number one, cows don't drink milk, but there's plenty of milk, calcium in their milk, right? Where do they get it from? Green leafy vegetables, the same place that we can get the calcium from. But it's even, it's even worse than that because the studies have shown that there's so much animal protein in a glass of milk that an animal protein actually causes our bodies to lose calcium in our urine. That if you drink a glass of milk, you will actually lose more calcium in your urine than you can absorb from that glass of milk. So you don't, you don't get ahead by trying to get calcium from dairy foods. Ner Harvard Nurses Health Study showed that the women who drank the most milk had the highest risk for hip fracture. Worldwide, the risk of osteoporosis and hip fracture correlates with dairy intake. Dairy foods are a lousy way of getting calcium because there's so much animal protein, you end up losing more calcium that you, than you can uh, extract from those foods.